recap to the men and brethren peter tells them that jesus was resurrected and the 11 apostles are witnesses and witnesses that david and the oath that god made to david was complete acts chapter 2 verse 33 therefore being by the right hand of god exalted and having received of the father the promise of the holy ghost he hath shed forth this which ye now see and hear for david is not ascended into the heavens but he saith himself the lord said unto my lord sit thou on my right hand until i make thy foes thy footstools there let all the house of israel know assuredly that god hath made that same jesus whom ye have crucified both lord and christ so verse 33 says talks about jesus being at the right hand of god exalted and having kept the promise of the holy ghost in 34 it says david is not ascended into the heavens but he saith himself the lord said unto my lord sit thou on my right hand so god the father said to god jesus sit at my right hand side and let all of israel know until i make thy foes thy footstools so make all those who crucified him all those who judged him guilty all his enemies he was going to give victory over the people who judged and killed him and then it says let all of israel know assuredly that god made jesus who they crucified lord and christ the apostles are straight out telling the people that they crucified the lord and christ i mean can you imagine that and well we'll see tomorrow how they react but it's incredible that regular folk like fishermen or tax collectors uh, could have that kind of wisdom and knowledge and that kind of hold on other jews who most likely are more educated and prepared than they are so i just think it's incredible that he peter directly told them that they crucified god